Hi, for those of you who know me well, you know that I love craft beer. So when this new set came out, I was very excited. It's called Brewed For You, and it is just perfect for me and all of my family. So today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. My name is Karen Slowinski. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Northeast Ohio. So if you watch my videos for a while, you know that I love to show you techniques. So today I'm going to show you how to use this set and how we can make shiny glasses to go with the cards. So I'm gonna show you three different ways to make shiny glasses, and then I'll show you the cards that I've created with those techniques. So let's get started. All right, the first technique I'm gonna show you, we're gonna be using this one. This is the Belgian beer glass. Belgian is my favorite kind of beer. So I love this one. This is the first one I gravitated to. And we are gonna be using a piece of window sheet and because this is window sheet, in order to stamp on it in black, you need to use stays on ink. This is a permanent ink, and you have to be a little bit careful because when you stamp on this, um, it's slippery. So we are going to be opening up our stays on. Oh, I love the smell of this one. It smells like almonds. If you've never smelled stays on ink, um, it's great. So I'm just gonna press down and then lift straight up and then I'm just gonna turn this over and we are going to make sure I can fit on there press down and lift, oh, lift straight up so you can see here you can see the shine because this is the window sheet so I let this sit for a little bit and then I'm going to use my dies to cut it out so I'm going to say one thing that when I tried to cut this out, um, we do have the coordinating dies. Um, I did find that it had a hard time cutting out this window sheet. This is actually a pretty hefty plastic. Um, so I did have a hard time with my dies, and so I did have to do a little bit of fussy cutting just to give them an assist. So that is the first way that we can make shine. So then I wanna show you the card that I made with that one. I made this one a little while ago while we still had cinnamon cider in our line, but I made my um, beer glasses. I did one in sort of a golden amber color. This was actually crushed curry, and this one was cinnamon cider because most of the, the Belgian beers or the dark beers that you would drink in this uh, beer glass are the darker shades. So I cut that out with my dyes, and I just put that behind, and I popped those up. So that is the first technique. You can see how nice the shine is on that one. All right, so I'm gonna just set that aside. And this, I do like to clean with the stays on cleaner, especially with the photopolymer. It will stain your um, stamps, but that's okay. Um, but I do like to clean it with stays on. All right, so I'm gonna move that aside. So this next technique, we are gonna be using Versa marking, And here we have a growler. So then what I want to do is stamp my growler and I'm gonna use um, soft suede to stamp on soft suede um, cardstock. So give that a good press. All right, so there is my growler and then what we need is the Versamark, and we are gonna need some clear embossing powder. So I keep mine in this little container that we got from the dollar store. And I'm gonna get a piece of scrap paper here. And then we are gonna take our Versamark pad and we are just going to go all over that image. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. I've got really good coverage on that. Close that up, and now we're gonna have our clear embossing powder. And we're just gonna sprinkle that liberally over that. So it looks kind of funny right now because you see it's all just looks like white. And now I'm gonna get my heat tool and we are going to melt that. like to let it heat up for just a few seconds before I start heating it on my image. 
and you're gonna watch how this turns to clear. So I just kind of go in a circular pattern. And then when it starts to melt, then you see it melts pretty quickly. And we're just gonna go over the whole image, getting that nice clear embossing shine over all of my growler. And I like to do this before I cut it out because it gives me a little bit of a, a handle on where to hold this for the heat gun. So even though we don't need all the way to that edge, I just like to get that embossed. All right, turn this off. So here we have our growler and look at that beautiful shine. Now you could go over this again, you could put more embossing powder on it, add more powder, heat it up again, and as you do more layers, it's going to actually smooth out. I don't know if you can, you can kind of tell, here we see, it looks a little bit, you know, bumpy. There's a, a little bit of a texture, but the more embossing powder that you add to this, the smoother it's going to get, if that's what you want to do. And then again, we have the dies, so we could cut that out. I'm gonna put this away, and I'm gonna show you the card that I made with that one. Here is that card. Oh, ale, yes. I think that's really kind of a cute little pun. And then on the inside, I said another round for your birthday. I have so many people I could send these to because we have a lot of craft beer drinking friends. All right, I have one more technique I'm gonna show you. So on this one, we need, I'm gonna get out my pierce mat. Uh, we need a piece of our white. This is just our basic white. And then I'm gonna use the mug. So I'm gonna ink that up in the Memento Black ink. And I'm going to stamp that on here. And then I see I smudged, so I'm going to turn it over. I must, oh, see, I got a little bit of ink on my finger there. I'm going to stamp it on this side. Okay. So now we have one on each side. And then, I think I forgot to get it out. We need uh, the beer for the inside. So this one, we could make it uh, more of a pale beer. Uh, it could be like an IPA or a lager or maybe a wheat beer. So I'm gonna put this on and for this one, I am going to do, uh, I'm gonna do so saffron. So let's open this up. And this is going to be the filler for our beer glass. And I'm gonna turn it over and do it on this side. So we're gonna have two mugs full of beer. Now this set is really cute. I don't know if you noticed when I showed you, but it also has the suds and there's also dyes to go with it. So you could add the suds to your glass. Um, I don't like suds too much, so I'm not gonna add any. So now what I wanna do, um, just to make this easy, I'm gonna cut these two apart. So I've got two of my mugs of beer. Move this out of the way. All right, this next technique is something that I'm sure you have at home. Um, and you don't usually use it in stamping, but this is my tape gun. So packing tape is gonna make this super easy. I'm gonna take a section of that and I'm gonna actually grab, oh, I was gonna grab my little, oh, here it is. I was gonna grab my silicone craft sheet. And then we're gonna just take this and lay it right over our mug. Give that a good press. I'll set that one aside. I'll grab another piece of our tape. I'm gonna have links to the stamp set in the description of my video, as well as on my blog. So if you need any supplies, please feel free to stop over at my store. Uh, I will have more details of this on my blog, which is thepowerofacard.blogspot.com. And I really do appreciate your business. Oh, I've got a growling um, grand puppy over there. 
excuse her. So now all I have to do is just trim off this little bit of excess because I don't need this anymore. And then we can cut this out with the dies and then I'll show you the card that I made um, using uh, this one. So here we go. This is this adorable card. Another birthday card. And then that's what the inside is. So you can see beautiful shine. It looks great. All right. So that's what I have for you today. But I thought it would be fun to show you a couple other things just because I love the beer. But we've got some other things that you might like to add shine to. So we have another stamp bundle. This is called Bottled Happiness. So it has bottles in it. Wouldn't this be great with shine? So I made a couple of those bottles. I added my packing tape. You can see how they get the beautiful shine to them. And then I can turn that into a card. And then there's another fun stamp set called Basket Cheer, or excuse me, Cheerful Basket. So this is really cute. I just made some cards using this with the apples. But wouldn't it be cute if we had these hearts in there? So I stamped the hearts and I colored them with my polished pink blends and they can sit in this basket so you can just imagine them sticking out. But these are little shiny hearts. So there they are. So those are a couple ideas of how you can use shine in your cards. I'm gonna just put these out so that you can see them again. And once again, thank you so much for watching this. If you're not a subscriber, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and share it with other people. It really helps me to grow my business. And thanks again so much for watching. Bye.